welcome. Hi, welcome back to Bambi Bakes. I'm Bambi Banks Kool-Aid. Welcome to my kitchen where we bake sweets with marijuana treats and spill the tea with my friends. <laughs> and I'm not just baking, I'm baking baking. <laughs> And we have gathered some of the most potent ingredients from Dispensary 33. <laughs> Today, we are giving 70s looks, so the tea is all about the war on drugs. Can you dig it? <laughs> Here to help me is my friend, the great, the gorgeous, the gregarious Lorraine Wynn. Lorraine, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. How are you, are you feeling? feeling? Oh, I'm feeling so good. I'm ready to eat this food. Are you ready to cook? I'm ready to cook. Are you ready to get high? I'm ready to get high. And are you ready to have a good old time? Nothing but a good time. <laughs> today, we are baking Chef Lorraine's scallion cheese buns with cheese fondue. So let's get into the recipe and reality of it all. Lorraine is gonna take us through these ingredients that you'll need to make this cute little dish, and I'm gonna follow up with some marijuana statistics that ain't so cute. Shall we? <laughs> get into it. Great, so we need to get these buns started first. Mm -hmm. So we gotta weigh out 90 grams of water. Girl, did you know that 90% of marijuana charges were for possession? That's not even for selling? No, people are getting held for holding. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, next up we need 25 grams of all-purpose flour. <laughs> 26 states plus DC have officially decriminalized small amounts of possession. Then why are folks still getting arrested for holding? <laughs> Beats me, girl. Next, we need three grams of yeast. <gasps> states are spending more than $3 million on marijuana laws every year. Damn. Damn. And I thought no one was spending more on the guns than me. <laughs> Next up is 15 grams of sugar. Ooh, girl, in New York, Marijuana is treated the same as selling an illegal firearm. Mm, now that ain't fire. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, but thankfully, these buns are setting out to be. Uplift me, sister. Well, now it's about to get real salty <laughs> with some salt. <laughs> like me, after spitting these facts. 100 grams of milk. <laughs> Room temperature, y'all. We're not trying to curdle out here. Mm -mm -mm and one egg. <laughs> All right, next up, we got the filling, which needs 225 grams of softened cream cheese, mm. one egg, mm. parmesan, Ooh. scallions, American <laughs> cheese, Ooh. And, of course, can of butter. Yes! And those are the things you need. <laughs> so now we are going to make our scallion buns. Yes. So, Bambi, while I heat up this water and the 25 grams uh -huh. of flour, uh -huh. you're gonna start lining up our bowl with all these dry ingredients. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, also. We have a bread hook today, so if you guys have a bread hook at home, make sure you use a bread hook. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Milk, right? Crack your eggs on a flat surface. I'm a chef too. Gross. <laughs> Everybody's all in the bowl? Everything is all in the bowl. Awesome. So what I did was I cooked that flour and oh, water wow. into this little paste. Okay. What happens is this helps gelatinize the gluten structures. Uh -huh. So it gives this bread like a really nice kind of chewy pull, helps it stay moist. Mm. Right? Yeah. So this goes in we to our mixer. In there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's gonna mix for about five minutes until you see this dough come together. Uh -huh. And then after it comes together, um, we're gonna add our butter in two batches. So now our mixture is looking like dough, everyone. Yeah. You can't really see it right now because we're gonna throw some. We're gonna add in our butter. We're gonna add it in two batches. So feel free to throw like two cubes in now. Okay. And once the butter emulsifies into that dough, looking all nice and soft and shiny, we'll add the other half. I'm gonna switch with you. Okay. Let's 
take a little peek here. Cool. So actually, this is a great moment for us to kind of scrape down our bowl, okay. like I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, just because of the friction of the mixer, you know, things get pushed to the side. So we just want to get in there. Make sure you turn your mixer off. Drop uh -huh. the bowl for safety. Just scrape around. Voila. Get everything off the bottom. Kind of clean up the sides and help the mixer. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. See, there's dough. Feel free to throw in the other half of our butter. Great. And then, lock and load. We'll get this moving again. Oh, and now she's rocking. Yeah, now she's like comfortably off the sides and she's ready to hang out with her butter friends, get oiled up, looking really cute. Oh my god. Yeah. So, I'll Work. be right back. Well, it's time to play a game called Soul Strain Scrabble, where we have to unscrabble these letters in 45 seconds, and they will spell out a name of a famous queen, a weed strain, or an iconic black person. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Let's do that. Okay, let me... Let me just... <laughs> Pick it up a little bit. Okay, cool, okay. cool, cool. All right, I have a couple of clues for this one. Okay. They are the star of Pose. Mm. I'll say A star, there are a lot of stars on that show, right? Always dressed to the nines. And do we hear an Emmy? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder who it is. Okay. 45 seconds starts. Now, okay, cool. Okay. Let's try Let's to figure see. it out. Mm. Yeah, I think we're on the same page. I think. Hold on, let me just, there we go. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, right? Okay. Look, we're too good yes. at this. Harry Potter. <laughs> no, it's Billy Porter, everyone. Billy Porter, yes! Come on, Soul Strain Scrabble! So now we're doing our second Soul Strain. Are you ready for the clues? Okay, hit okay. me. <clears throat> The black version of a movie musical full of big names, including Richard Pryor. 45 seconds starts. Now, okay. Oh. Oh, Okay, let me help with this one. <laughs> I can do something. And there you have it, Roots. Just kidding, it's the wins, everyone. <laughs> Thank oh you so God. much, Lorraine, for playing yeah, with thank me. Thank you. All right. Cool. How's she looking? Everybody's come together? She's looking pretty good. There's awesome. a little, I think we need to scrape the bottoms. Yeah. So. Oh, let me cut it off. Cut it off first. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh oh. Was that a nail? That was a nail. Oh. Okay, she on. Okay, okay, we have it. We have it. Yeah. So everything's pulled from the bowl. Everybody's looking tight. Kind of. Ooh. See, it's all kind of come together. So, do you want to drop it on this counter right here? Oh. We're gonna do is we're just gonna throw it on this floured counter and mix a little bit to help get her all nice together. It's a cute little ball and then it's going to rest at room temperature uh -huh. for an hour. After an hour, you can just kind of lightly punch. We call it punching down, but please don't hit the dough. Just kind of gently press to move the air and the gases around. Uh -huh. And then this will rest overnight in the fridge. And it will rest while we mix some other things. Work. All right. So now that we have our dough chilled over for 24 hours, we have yes. literally been standing here for 24 hours, everyone. <laughs> what is our next step? OK, so Bambi, I'm going to have you mix our cheese filling while I start rolling out the dough. Everybody will go into the bowl okay. with a paddle attachment. Just uh -huh. mix on like medium until it looks nice and fluffy and spreadable. Okay, cool. Because if you look at it and it looks too stiff, it's gonna tear our dough. So if it looks like something that you can spread, you're good to go. Perfect. Okay. Great, I'll be over here it's rolling out our dough. Great, it's time to get creamy. Let's mm. do it. Let's get creamy. Oh, let me... <laughs> 
And cool. So as you're mixing over there, Bambi, I started rolling out my dough. Mm -hmm. um, I really dusted the surface because of all that butter uh -huh. and all that milk. Our dough is a little bit sticky. So okay. that's what makes it really nice and moist and chewy. Yeah. Right? So I've rolled it out. This is about mm, like nine inches wide. And love nine inches. Love nine inches. And this is about mm, 15 inches long. Oh, okay. That's yeah. a little too much. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> And I started mixing the cheese. Yeah, Yay! and you started mixing it all together. So what'll end up happening is once we have this soft, really pretty cheese mixture, we'll spread it across okay. this. We'll fold our friend over, mm -hmm. we'll cut it into strips, and then we can twist them. Yeah, it's gonna get it's gonna get a skosh messy, but I believe you can handle it. Oh, yeah, I'm you're, totally you're the into one. It. I love being messy. Yeah, we love mess here. <laughs> we love. Oh, okay, it's looking is, is that spreadable? Do you think that's spreadable? That's it. She's all that's together, it? yeah. Okay. Me. I think we're good to go. Ooh. Okay. So, what we'll do next, thank you so much for this beautiful cheese. <laughs> this is like this cheese dip, really. Mm -hmm. this May I borrow that? Right. Wonderful. So what we're gonna do, so it's see nice and pliable so it doesn't break our dough. We're just gonna slather. Uh, Punch on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is, wow. Yeah, it's, it's aggressive. So cool, so we'll set this friend. Okay. Over <laughs> there for the time being. We're gonna take a little spatula. You can use that one. I'm a little in particular, so I like this one. Um, and you will just spread this out evenly. Think about like you know how you would if you were making cinnamon rolls, perhaps. Uh, right. So then I have my bench paper here. We're just gonna do that. Just gonna help get flour underneath so we don't rip her uh -huh. when we roll it over. I feel like this is the over. most useful tool. That is honestly a. F four dollar tool i cannot imagine living without one she's a lifesaver yeah they come in like metal plastic oh, okay. what have you whatever you like and roll it over roll it over one more time and then this just to seal it up All right so now i'm gonna move it this way look at them work cool so i have a knife here i'm just gonna square off the sides Gently, so this is pretty. Sides, no, ends. no ends. I mean, you know, I'm big enough. Each half should get you eight rolls. Okay. So, by doing the math, you know, I'm like, I cut this in half. Uh -huh. Now you have four, cut that in half, you'll have eight. Uh oh. So, that you can pull and braid them. Okay. Like a this. Twist. Yeah, a little twist. I know it More. gets a little, it gets a little gooey, but here we'll give another demo with a bigger piece. Okay. But so we just go. Mm-hmm. Twist it and kind of pull lightly at the ends and pinch the ends so that they stay together, all nice and cute. Oh, oh, yeah. So you'll have those hang out on a baking sheet. Um, I like to put eight per sheet. It gives them space because there is yeast in there. You mm -hmm. know, they will have to like have grow. To, yeah. They need space to stretch out. Okay, yeah. Um, and that will proof for an hour uh -huh. before we bake it at 375. Okay. We'll brush with a little bit of egg wash. Mm -hmm. um, I like to top it with like some sesame seeds because they're cute. Yeah. And if you're feeling really naughty, you can crumple like a little bit of ramen like I did with that badge on there because it's just extra flavor and extra yes, crunch. Yes, I love it. Yeah, we'll bake for uh, 12 minutes, flip the tray, okay. and let it go for another 12 minutes. So, we proofed them for an hour, and... They should be perfectly golden brown. Your house should be smelling like delicious bread and cheese. You'll have this. Chef Lorraine's Cheese, cheese and, and Scallion, scallion buns. buns. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen today. We hope that you enjoyed Chef Lorraine's scallion cheese buns with cheese fondue. And our special guest, obviously, Miss Chef Lorraine. Lorraine, do you have anything to plug? I do. Uh, we have a lot of really fun collaborations happening with friends over the next couple of months. So follow Snack at Chicago and Kansa Bakery. Turn on those post notifications and keep your eyes up. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for joining for us, Lorraine. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Sounds like our next guests have arrived. Friends. Join us for next week and see who's here to dish. <laughs>